Oh no, it's just tier. Dang. Hopefully it doesn't kill then. Okay, it doesn't kill. I thought the boost was for everybody. I think I'm probably just thinking like Valenti or something. Let's go. Wait, how much is it gonna do? <laughs> All right, so we back with another Thor video. Now this time you're gonna be trying her in gear PvP, trying to get those rank threes. Um, I feel like with her, I'm using like a UR attack crit damage gear set, and a lot of people be asking me like, "Yo, what is the like best gear set?" And honestly, I feel like attack crit gear set is gonna be her best option, just so she can do deal high amounts of damage towards the enemy and kind of proc her passive because you do need that 300,000 damage either from taking damage from the enemy or dealing 300,000 damage towards the enemy to get that thunder god mode which is where you see a lot of people just absolutely destroying the opponent now again um thor is just a very powerful dps at the end of the day so we're gonna be using the tier plus go through a rank up combination just trying to farm up those rank threes and then with tier being able to lower the enemy crit resist thor should hit really really hard now she does have something in her passive as well where where she pretty much deal high amounts of damage towards enemy with a taunt so if they have a taunt as well you can also deal high amounts of damage as well but for now we're just going to be using tier plus gother and just ranking up to the rank threes i might swap tier for sabnak i'm not gonna lie to you just because sabnak um she has a lot more CC because she is a UR character, which makes us, um, which didn't allow us to pretty much have higher CC to use this team. For now, I'm used here just for the fun, for the fun of it, and then I might switch later in the video. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe again, and let's see what we can do. Like technically, tier not really even needed, just because so many other characters don't really get stat lord. So tier technically isn't really uh needed. Let's go for this. So the bad thing about Eskner is that he gets damage cap, so you're dealing with like multiple damage cap characters. Oh wow, that didn't even do not nothing. Wow. That's so crazy. Yeah. So I got it like literally late. Oh, well, at least I got another rank up though. So my tier somehow survives these um barrage of attacks. We can at least show the gold card with a tier. Hopefully we tank. Again, some people say like tier should have got the holy relic. It would have been nice. Again, he's kind of not really needed as much because so many other characters um pretty much ignore everything that he does there's a lot of characters that, that just ignore what he does so let's see what this gold card is um, i might switch to like sabnog just because it might be a better taunt character because we just really care about the rank ups technically that's 800k 1.6 mil all right it should be 200 something on lily again Like that non condition, like death damage is just so cool. <laughs> like it's so broken. Like non condition death damage is crazy, man. Especially because it can apply to everybody on the field. That is just so insane. I'm gonna try to do one more match with tier though, and then go switch to sob knock afterwards. 2.3 million on freaking <laughs> Liz by herself what the all right we got an albedo time but sabnak actually uh can punch me pretty easily but out again we do punish like taunt characters so let's see what happens and this guy's using a double taunt combo which is actually cringe and he actually tanked all that wow I'm just, what's this gonna do? Like, that card be doing way more damage than that card, even though this that's the card you want to, like, keep. Hey, that's the card you wanna keep. Like, you wanna use this card first and then use this card afterwards. Is 
because it starts to do way more damage. Hopefully he doesn't steal my single targets. Oh, he's disabled. And then Tear is gone. Tear is absolutely gone. Okay, let's see this dev damage. Like that did like what 300k? That's 370k. And again, we're just accumulating all that damage for ourselves. So let's see what Thor is about to do. Probably nuke tier right here. Oh, not really. What the what kind of tier is this? Not tier, uh, Thor. Well, whatever kind of Thor that was, my tier is gone. Regardless. All right, I'm going to go for this then. Hopefully we do enough damage right here. Oh, yeah, we do way more than enough. Like She's not really a tanky character, but she's a hard, hard hitter. All right, let's... All right, what we got here? 400k. All right, now we got some action, boys. Now again, Thor does punish characters that um throw a baton. So I really want to see what that how that's gonna work out. Yeah, I think she does like punish characters who have a taunt. So she's gonna do like increase more damage. I want to see how that's gonna work. Hopefully, I get a rank up card too. So I can see the damage. Oh, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a rank up card. Don't tell me you're about to play. Right, you got to go for your merge, right? Yeah. Let's say, don't tell me you're going to play super aggressive. I think he is about to play aggressive, huh? He might get rid of tier right here. Let's see. Maybe the damage reduction might help me. Oh, he's duped too. That's dupes. Oh, wow. Um, all right, I'm gonna go for this then. Again, we should have increased damage dealt as well because he does have a ton on. Oh, yeah, that's that's definitely increased damage. Holy snap. Dang, he forfeit already. GG. All right, we got a sob knock this time around. So we are going to get absolutely abused. Well, not really. It depends on what debuffs he, he puts on me. It all depends on the debuffs. Oh, he got an albedo right there. Wow. Well, that's annoying. Hopefully, it's tier that gets the stun on him. Oh, wow. We don't even get the damage boost because he has so much freaking defense. Wow. It's because he has so much defense going on right now. I don't even get the defense boost. Oh, my God. It's Gother. How is Gother the lowest HP character? Bro, that's so upsetting. Bro, how is Gother the lowest HP character, man? And he stuns the right card. Uh, ugh. He stuns the right cards too. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna go for tier. I already know he's gonna probably push for his AoE too. Like, bro, that's so cringe. That's so cringe, bro. Yeah, he goes for his taunt. He's probably about to just AoE wipe me right here. Oh, this doesn't kill. <laughs> now we got the Thor hammer. Remember, we do increase damage on taunt characters. And I don't know. Let's, let's go for this. All right. Go for tier. 
and then do this i'm actually curious because don't you get like a boost as well on everybody what's tier ults oh no it's just tier dang hopefully it doesn't kill then okay it doesn't kill i thought the boost was for everybody i think i'm probably staying like valenti or something let's go wait how much is it gonna do <laughs> five million let's go let's go five million something light again we do boost the damage on taunt characters so i'll take it gg he could have won all right time to use the be better taunt character like i put i put freaking sobnog right there and she her cc jumped like 10k bro it is actually insane. Like, it's easy jumped like 10k. Um, I guess it all depends on who gets the stun. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, wait. It's gonna be like this. And I guess I can move my card. Because technically, the person who's gonna get the stun. Oh dang, I pressed AoE too. I, well, the person who's gonna get the stun is going to be um, Thor. Well, Sobnak it looked like. Not Sobnak, um. Yeah, it's gonna, Sobnak is gonna be getting stunned then. I forgot all about that. That he's using the hail, so the debuffs are gonna be a little bit different when it compared. But I can always just cleanse on Sobnak as well and just stall as well again it all depends on how he plays this out because again i can just stall if i really need to especially if he gets a good seal on me like if he gets a good seal on my door yeah i'm about to say i might as well just go for a cleanse on my sob knock if he gets a good if he gets another good stun um All right, I'm gonna go for this then. We just cleanse. Oh, I ranked up the wrong person too. I was supposed to rank up to Thor, but it's fine. Yeah, his his hand is gone anyways. See, Sabnak is such an annoying character. Sabnak is such an annoying character. Like, because like once she get her, once she gets going, it's GG for whoever is playing. It's GG, man. Holy snap. Sonic is so goddamn annoying. And let me see how much damage I've been accumulating. Should be a lot. Uh oh yeah. It's gonna be pretty much GG pretty soon. Uh Alright, let's go for this then. Okay, that's 300k. Alright, see ya. Alright, see ya. Yeah, like I said before, when you have Sobnok, oh my god, PP becomes a lot easier, bro. Using Thor is such a good combination. You can just stall and just troll the opponents. All right, what we got, boys? Oh, the same guy. We get the troll him. All right, so this time we'll play a little bit better. Um, so we know that Sobnak is going to be the one who's going to get uh, debuffed. So we're going to waste this card. Um, again, it technically doesn't matter what we do right here. I can just move cards if I really want to. Because it's just going to be the same scenario. Like last time. He can't kill anybody. So it doesn't really matter. We're just pretty much slowly just. <laughs> we're just slowly just being annoying at this point. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. We're just slowly just being annoying. Obviously he's gonna have to go for his sob knock play. Like he can't do nothing else but go for that sob knock play. I'm surprised he didn't use hail to try to kill. He probably just don't have enough damage too, as well. Which makes sense. 
Like he does all this and the only person who gets stunned is going to be Sabnok. So I can just reseal his hand afterwards. And oh, he made sure he gets the, the stun right back on him. Okay. So again, Sabnok is going to be the one who's getting cleansed. Debuff him and then restack up. So he made sure he attacked with Thor and um, Sabnok. Just so he can pretty much have only the stun on Hail. Because again, Sabnok debuffs based on the lowest HP. Whoever gets stunned. Oh, his Sabnok can attack, but she's disabled. <laughs> but we went for double sets of debuffs. So that's why right now he can't literally do anything. Sabnok just so annoying, bro. It's crazy. She's so annoying. Especially with the new Thor. Now you have two characters you got to worry about on the unknown team. It's crazy. I'm going to try one more match and then probably end the video.